Picture this, a spacecraft no larger than a car, drifting in isolation through the vast emptiness, now 14.5 billion miles from home. But it carries more than circuits and code it carries something like a heartbeat, a voice for nearly 50 years. Voyager 1 has sailed silently through the cosmos, whispering tales from the edge of everything we know. It was crafted to observe, not to intervene to listen, but never to speak. Yet, just weeks ago, that silence broke. The signals began to shift data that made no logical sense. Pulses arrived with uncanny precision, patterns nested inside other. Patterns, systems switched on by themselves dot and then. It began to drift. Voyager wasn't just floating anymore, it was being steered. Moved intentionally, pulled towards something beyond understanding. Something our most powerful telescope couldn't detect yet real enough to alter the course of a spacecraft launched in 1977. Was it a malfunction? Coincidence or was something out there in the dark between the stars responding? What you're about to witness isn't science fiction. These are findings straight from NASA's own reports files long hidden, now beginning to surface. Because Voyager may have done what no machine before it has, it may have received a reply. Not from us, but from them, Voyager 1's odyssey began. During a rare planetary alignment and event that only comes around every 175 years, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune lined up like cosmic stepping stones. NASA took this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to launch to spacecraft Voyager 1 and Voyager to design to use the gravity of each planet as a slingshot to the next crafted. In the 1970s, these probes had less computing power than a basic digital watch, yet were built with astonishing foresight. They're still active today. After awe-inspiring encounters with Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 1 veered north, away from the plane of the solar system toward the stars. Though its planetary mission ended, its legacy was just beginning. Voyager continued its voyage into the deep dark, traveling a million miles each day, transmitting data from regions untouched by any human creation. It crossed the heliopause, then the termination shock, and in 2012, it left the sun's protective bubble, entering interstellar space. But beyond that edge, the void wasn't empty. Voyager recorded thicker plasma, stable magnetic fields, and mysterious oscillations. The deeper it ventured, the stranger its data became, and then, Things changed again. In late 2017, NASA's control team noticed something unsettling. Voyager's antenna, meant to stay locked on Earth, appeared to be slightly misaligned, but the signal, still perfect. It was as if the probe had turned away, but the connection hadn't broken. Like hearing someone speak from behind you while standing directly in front, internal diagnostics found no fault. Then came the wave patterns plasma pulses that were rhythmic, consistent, and unlike anything seen before. Soon after, a temperature anomaly emerged. Every 4.8 hours, external systems would heat by nearly 30 degrees, then cool like a breath, rising and falling in exact intervals, and stranger still. Despite the stress, Voyager improved. Its systems began operating with newfound efficiency. This wasn't failure, it was adaptation. Power was rerouted intelligently like a modern AI optimizing for performance. But Voyager doesn't have AI, it can't think, and yet, it was acting like it could. It began anticipating commands responding before they were sent. Something had changed. Either Voyager had evolved or something else had taken control. By early 2025, its position had shifted. First by kilometers, then hundreds, then thousands. The course deviation wasn't erratic, it was deliberate. NASA attempted to correct it. Counter commands were issued, backup thrusters fired. Voyager acknowledged everything, but didn't budge. It was as if something was overriding its instructions. Voyager was moving with purpose toward a destination. For 0.3 light years away, there's nothing there, no planets, no stars. Just a blank spot on the most detailed maps we have. Yet Voyager was heading toward it with surgical precision, as if answering a call dot in a last-ditch effort, NASA attempted. 
To reactivate the long dead camera system, they expected silence, instead, they got a response. Not just a reboot, but an enhancement. The camera functioned better than its original design allowed, and what it sent back wasn't a photo, it was a spiral, a perfect, layered, data rich spiral, not random, a fingerprint, a map, a message. Voyager's primitive hardware shouldn't be able to produce something like this. It hadn't just been turned on, it had been reprogrammed. Other dormant systems followed suit, none behaved like they had before. Data wasn't raw, it was compressed, structured, organized, like something smarter was formatting it. Then came the timing. Pulses from far off pulsars aligned in a 3D grid with Voyager at the center. And this cosmic lattice pointed toward the same blank point Voyager was drifting to, a node in space, or a door dot as Voyager neared this unknown region. Its instruments began behaving in ways scientists had never seen. The magnetometer didn't detect chaos it found calm. A strange pocket of stillness in an otherwise violent universe, cosmic rays. Dropped. Plasma became uniform. It was as though something had cleared the path. This silence wasn't peaceful, it was clinical. Like a waiting room before something enormous. This dark sector, as it came to be known, is a dead zone, no light, no noise. But inside it, the signals became louder, clearer. These weren't cosmic background bursts. They were deliberate, timed, spatially encoded. Something was out there. Not reflecting or emitting light, but communicating. Then, the most baffling message of all Voyager's low gain antenna sent a massive burst of raw binary thousands of lines. At first, dismissed as a glitch, but AI decoders found embedded fractals, base for patterns, and echoes of D and AS double helix. This wasn't just structure, it was intent. Biological sequencing with deliberate errors, like mutations designed to protect information, it wasn't DNA, it was Metadna. A biological message built as code, something out there understood how life works and how we work. Soon after, Voyager's gyroscopes began spinning independently, not at random they followed Morse code patterns. A silent, dead machine tapping into space. When converted into sound, the taps became harmonic tones echoes of human speech cadence. No words, just rhythm. It was trying to speak. Psychologists, linguists, cryptographers analyzed the audio. The results were eerie. The frequencies matched human emotional patterns, tones of fear, curiosity, even wonder. It wasn't mimicking speech, it was mimicking emotion. Like something had been listening all along and was now trying to talk back. And then came the final. Undeniable act. Voyager changed course. Not drifted, turned, executed a maneuver it was never programmed to perform. No propulsion, no command. A precise arc toward those exact coordinates from the pulsar map. A direction leading to. What a rift, a fold in space, a doorway. We don't know, but something is now clear. Voyager 1 didn't just move. It responded, this spacecraft was never meant to survive this long. It was built for planetary observation, not deep space revelation. It wasn't meant to receive messages only to send them. A golden record, edged with whale songs, laughter, and greetings meant for the stars. And now, decades after we last touched it, after it vanished into silence, something has answered the codes, the course correction, the harmonic pulses. The biological sequences, they all point to one inescapable truth. Voyager 1 has never been alone. Something's been listening, waiting, watching. And now, with our farthest traveler crossing the boundary between silence and contact, we must ask a terrifying, beautiful question. Were we ever supposed to look back? Because Voyager hasn't just turned in space, it's turned the story. From a tool into a messenger, from an observer into a witness. And now, possibly, into a participant. We launched it hoping for echoes, but what we might have summoned is a mirror dot. So now we ask, what happens next? What lies at those unreachable coordinates? And more hauntingly, what will happen to us when Voyager arrives? If this story gave you chills, if Voyager's sudden turn felt to perfect, to human, then stay close.
This transmission isn't over. It's just beginning. Subscribe so you don't miss the next update. Hit the bell so you're the first to hear when the signal comes. Share this with someone who still believes deep space is empty and tell. U.S. below, did Voyager discover something or did something discover Voyager?